Hello and welcome to episode 125 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So we have a task today and that is to find a very particular kind of, um, what was it called, torch that will allow us to reveal people who are stealthed. We believe that the enemies that we can just see down there, those headless guys, are tree sentinels, if memory serves correctly. If that's the case, they should have one. Or one of them should have one. Given that we kind of need it for that area there, then I want to basically kill all of those guys before we head over to there and bring that down. Uh, and we'll explore the church afterwards. That's the immediate plan. Uh, the long-term plan, once we've actually done this area here, um, we'll then start exploring out from here. So we'll explore the entirety of this side of the river first, and then probably make our way down this side, um, going back and forth, that side kind of thing. We shall see. Uh, it does look like there is stuff below us, but we won't worry about that for the time being. First things first, though. First things first, we are near enough to another level that we should spend our resources and get it. I also did look up the um, assassin or Black Knife Assassin um, armor set. I only need the chest piece for the bonus. So we shall keep it. Uh, we need to swap spells back over. Uh, which two did we swap? We swapped this one. This should be... Oh, do we actually take Assassin's Approach off in the long term? I think we must have done. And then... Greatly heal so for nearby allies. Let's take that one. Now we need experience. We're down to three. Best not spend them. We will have to make do without. Uh, they're ten. They're 50,000 apiece. So two of these. Or 5,000 apiece. If memory serves. Yes. Okay. It's going to bring us close. One. If we pop two more, that would definitely bring us over. That's the crafting menu. Uh, I actually did check the crafting items we got. Uh, they were this, the frozen resin, which is a better heal for torrent, and then this and this, uh, which are boost focus. Let's pop. Let's just pop them both. That will put us over what we need, but not by enough that I'm going to worry about the amount of runes I have. Okay, so we've got these to level 45, we're then going to bring, it was bring mind up, then vigor some more, wasn't it? That was the plan. Or maybe I should bring them up together. We'll go that way. Does endurance increase? Or is it just with level? And they all increase some defense. But some of them increase defense by more than others by the looks of it. Anyway, mind. Okay. So, don't mind me, wolf. Oh, he does respawn. Interesting. Oh, we entirely missed this. I wonder if that's enough.
Well, I guess we're not heading that way for a while. So long as we take these guys on one at a time. We are in an... Uh, okay, we're... I wasn't expecting that to get quite so close. My frame mate is not happy about this. That's fine, coming over. Better to fight you over here. And we're not going to see the explosions behind us. Since we have these, we should collect them. I hope these respawn. They're of a type that hopefully they do respawn, because I, I can then start crafting freezing pots. Thirty frames per second, thanks to all of that mess. Is it the explosions? Yeah, it's all the explosions. So really, the entire challenge of this is just simply, um... Lag from the explosions. I need to try and attack and kill these guys because they may have items I want. You did see me, can you come down? Range there. Oh, that works for me. Because now I'm out of range of all that. This doesn't reach. I'm just gonna poke. I mean, if we got the attention of one of them, that works. We can take them one at a time. of you had a bow, didn't you? Let's try 
trying to figure out how to... If I could get them to stop casting, then that would solve the problem. Obviously, we can't fight these things while all of this is going on, and they're over there. But the extra problem is that if we bring that thing down, they disappear or they stop spawning in, potentially. And we need them alive. I definitely think there's enough time to get to it between barrages. Lot, lot, little things still alive. Okay. Let's see if we can get the big nasty ones to come our way. We can't we can get another shot off on it. Mana. to the side, heal from that. Okay, that's the nastier one dealt with. You're out of the range of that. I think I'm safe here, but... It may just die to this. I got fed up of waiting for them to come into range and actually making their way over here. We still have that one over there to deal with, but I don't think I can get close enough to get its attention. Because it's still out of range here. I could maybe hit him from here. Okay, good. 
I am so glad that an enemy can do that. Where'd it go? There'd you go. Uh, no, let's stick with this. Come on. You're just outside of range. You might actually be just in range. Well, if my spear flew downward more directly. That was not the one we wanted to use. Okay, we still have that guy. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Now we're in range. I'm not sure I can even hit him. Yeah, we can't lock onto him from here. We would have to get into point blank range. So I think... Focusing too much on the one directly ahead of me, there was one coming from the side at an angle. How many runes did I leave behind? That's going to respawn them all. Which is unfortunate. Those belts where okay, now we're safe. I'm sure this is actually taking them off. No, it's it's firing too high. Let's dismount and try that again. Okay, it does work. You just need to be able to actually hit.
That'll do. Okay. Where's the entrance? Let's open it up. Yep. Nothing inside as per usual. There are rooms. Should be able to get to them before those guys get into range. We're actually a lot further off than I thought we were. Let's have a closer look around. It may be that the torch in question is got from a different location entirely. We have more or less worked out a way or a path, I should say. Oh, we cannot attack. Oh, hello. We'll be with you with a second. Large lady. How many runes did we get for all of that? Eh, not really worth the effort. Are you alive? We can't attack, so I assume you must be alive. You're breathing. Silver mirror shield. Some antenna. We'll do in a second. Um... Inventory, shields, this looks important, here it is. Strength intelligence is an intelligence based shield. These are rare. Shame it's not dex intelligence, then I would actually have a shield I can use. A shield of radiant silver, um, fastened with an amber, or fastened with amber and carried by, uh, Le yeah that's Loretta rather than the tenor. Knight of the Help Tree. Uh, the shape is said to imitate the sacred drop of dew, uh, which inspires the absurd rumour that Loretta herself was an Albanecki. Uh, Al Albanecki. Ah, Albanecki. Something. Yeah, words to the effect of. The tenor. So that's Lanetta. Loretta. So let's summon the tenor. O oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Nice. So this is where you get them from. Quest rewards. Or NPC plot rewards. These things are rare. There's a limited amount of them. Although we're fairly sure we know which weapon we're going to put it on. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done... Then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. So we need not have done that thing over there at all. Mm. 
Now you are... Well, you're slightly different by virtue of the fact that you have the snowy thing attached to you. But you are usually hiding something. Maybe it's just the absurd amount of Trini and Louis that are around here. Shame they don't respawn. But no, you're usually hanging around a cave. But to be fair, you haven't always been. We have found them just around um, specifically rare items that you may miss. The last lot of them was in... Um, near that castle behind the tree, or around the tree where there was a rare item behind it. We did not get our torch though. We did find the painting, didn't we? Yeah, we've already done that. That was on the other part of the other map anyway. What's that down there? Big rat? Somber Smithing Stone 9. Big rat or maybe... Land squid? Possibly land squid. More land squids. Okay, there's a big land squid somewhere. Where are you? I can hear you. There you are! Hey! Didn't think I could shoot that far down. It might be able to jump up here. <laughs> Let's not test our luck. Okay, so we didn't find what we were looking for. No biggie. Let's kill the... One over there that we didn't get. I just want to try... I, I would like to get one of these to drop a piece of loot just to confirm that these are the enemies I think they are. I can deal with. Assuming both of them come at me. Trying to retreat back. God damn you! You can attack twice by the time I can attack once. And again, no poise breaking. Always annoying. How about I just hit you with that, and again. Because these count as heavy attacks. You can't block them forever. Apparently he can block them forever, and he will block them forever. Never mind. Okay. I need to get my um, pots in order. Natural flowing pots. Yep, I'm gonna drop in nothing. One of you drops something, that's all I want. One of you to drop 
something. You are the enemies I think you are, aren't you? Do you have the loot that I think you have? Or do I need to get it from a very special location? Dropping anything? I mean, yeah, you've seen me. Come at me. Apparently they're really weak to being hit in where their head should be. Third, which is not what we're hoping for. Bolts. <laughs> also not what we're hoping for. There's another guy over there. We're not going to take on the group. I think you were on your own, more or less. Oh, you're not helpful. And it didn't drop that. Yeah, never mind. Okay, let's go have a look at the land squids. Given that we apparently don't need to go into there yet, we've done the thing we came down here to do. Oh, we missed one. Yeah, given that we don't need to come down here yet, or do that yet, which is what I was kind of thinking we may need to do. I may go back to exploring and see if we can't find um, the thing we're looking for. Now, where did Big Land Squid go? We knocked it off the wall. Did it try to follow us around a corner and jump itself off a cliff? Flies. Can't see a land squid on the wall here. But what's with all the nascent butterflies? And the Trinian lilies, for that matter. Why are there a bunch of rare resources over here? What? Oh, he's back on the wall again. I don't remember resting at the bonfire after finding it. You actually look a bit bigger than your usual fans. Is that just because you're elongated from dragging off the wall? Possibly. Anyway, get down from there. That does almost nothing. How can you be so susceptible to cold in such a cold area? Oh, it's not that it's susceptible to cold, it's its face. You do most of the damage by hitting it in its face and we was hitting it directly on. That was why. Do I not have that equipped? What do I have it equipped instead? Oh, we have the sneaking thing equipped. That's fine. That works.
What is this random small item? Obviously nothing too important, otherwise it would be purple or gold. Just wins. You can definitely get up to there, but I don't think there's anywhere to go after that, so that's not. Hmm. Without knowing how, how long it's going to take me to find um, the, la or the um, torch. Let me just check to see whether or not these things have respawned. If they've respawned, then we can actually start using them. They have, good. Interesting. Who are you and why are you here? Morg, your rotten omen, your blood is cursed. Give him back. Give Lord McQuellan back. How dare you lay hands on such precious flesh. A rune bear. Looks like a rune bear. Either way, we're not exploring that direction. I see small crabs. Makes me think large crab. Underground somewhere. Large crab? No large crab? away from home but apparently they've nothing to import are you still tracking me and shooting me well the wolf is one of them is Okay, let's figure out a route. Mm, we're still going to have to contend with the archers, but we'll give this one attempt. So we start from here, and off the horse. But I'm going to go over here. Up to here. How did we get this last time? Up over to here, to up here. And then go up here, get one. And then over the top to the other side. Come along here. Along here, up there. Along here, along here, and up there, two. Can we drop down the other side? There's going to be an archer on the other side, but that's fine. This is a running gauntlet. Come over to here, drop down to here. Come along here. Three. Through there and up the wall. Four. <laughs> mm. 
maximum amount of protection possible is what we should take. It's a wolf with rider. Do we have spells to increase defense that we can cast? That's the more important part. Reduces footsteps, fall damage, poison buildup, heavy damage. Can't cast any of those. Raises physical and attack power. Heals over time, not helpful. Now we don't have any spells that will help us. Significantly gains damage. An aim sword FP consumption makes attacks more likely to break an enemy stance. Charged attacks. These are all attack boosts. Poise. Steadily restores HP. Briefly stops rune loss on death. Temporarily reduces equip load. Enhances dodge roll. I thought we had two. Boost poise. Boost resistance and heal status. All damage negation. Okay. So we have that, and then the thing after it. That'll let us survive for a while. We can also eat a prawn. Okay. Inventory. That's greatly boosted. I don't know if we can go and buy more. Let's have our prawns. Drink our mixed physique. Use that. Let's get moving. These won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough for him to catch up with me and hit me once. That said, it's perfectly possible that what'll happen first is I'll get plinked with arrows. Okay, we've lost one of our protections. Heal that small amount of damage. Do we still have one? We do. Okay. Well, 
Oh, there it is. We know it's down there, but we can't do anything about it. Nice try. I thought of that. Now we see whether or not it can do it twice. Sprint, if you please. God damn it. was the last one. It's up there, isn't it? Ah, there's the, the um, ladder. Quick, 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 quick! Four. Interesting. Why block off all the walls in this section of town? Odd. Oh well, well we got through, so let's see, we want to increase dexterity. Intelligence. Let's see what madness we've unlocked. This is why when you have things that you can use, you should use all the things. Oh. Where does you go? Oh! Only one way to find out. Here we go. What in the devil? Um... I didn't... don't remember putting, um... Those markers over there? No one has anything to say to us. Come on, I'm standing on top of it, game. <laughs> Silly thing. Well. This is another large area we found, but we did the quest that we was here to do. Good lord, this place is huge. <laughs> Just looking at it, I should have known, but no, look at all of this. This is nuts. 
And we haven't even finished exploring here, or here, or here. I don't think we should press forward. I think we have enough... I think we should finish exploring this area first, rather than continuing to another area. We should at least get this area done. I don't mind holding slack on this one, because we know that this area here progresses the main story. But we also then have the opportunity to double back in places. For example, we have the sewer system that we're a little wary of, just by virtue of... Um... Why did I mark these? Um, just by virtue of the fact that those enemies were taking a lot of damage and there was three of them. There's still plenty of stuff we can do here. Yeah, I think next episode we try to finish exploring this area. Uh, we've taken the hidden path to Helk Tree. Didn't I look out the edge? No, because I was looking this way. I thought there was something more over here. What I was seeing was this tree here. But yeah, um, we'll explore this area tomorrow. We'll save this area for later. Not necessarily a lot later. We may come back after we're done here, but I want to at least not leave too many zones we haven't finished exploring yet. Um, this area, I think we may continue to leave as unexplored, at least the area part of it we haven't been to yet. Just because, again, we know that we progress the main storyline there. So this is pointing to here. If I had to guess, this um, catacombs that's being pointed at here is what will lead to the other places in the hidden path that we couldn't get to. If I had to guess. We then have a mine over here. I don't know whether or not that's going to be a crystal cave or a resource mine. Speaking of... We do have some more upgrade materials to go expend. Um, I doubt you have anything new to say. I do believe we have a new bell bearing to hand over. Uh, you. Using the secret... The yeah, secret medallions have been invited. Unlucky to demigods using the secret medallions. I've already used it. Ah, I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit, but the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. I've already been there, using the secret medallions. Ah, so the secret medallions led you to the land of the Halig Tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely. But with the Halig Tree as it is, I suppose Mikola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Black Flame Protection. Interesting. I wish he had finished that sentence. So that tells us that he expects Melania to be here. And Melania is the one that the girl with the Scarlet Rot, um, that we gave the gold needle to, was searching for. And if memory serves, because I, I said this before, but we'll repeat it anyway. When I looked up how many endings there was, there was make, made mention specifically that it was Melania's ending that locks you into it. Although apparently there is a way to break out of it. 
I intentionally didn't read the details, but I got more information than I wanted for. I just wanted the number of endings there were. So we have to be very careful about this area here. They expect Melania to be there, but then he also made mention that McQuillan might be here. And it was McQuillan I was expecting to find. Interesting. Thanks for half the information. We do have his curse thing. Shall we talk to him? Okay, so grave warts go up to six. Ghost warts go up to six, fair enough. And we can buy smithing stones up to six, but we've already got all of those. This might be a mistake. But... No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Okay, so this isn't the mistake. It's potentially the thing we do after it that could be the mistake. Go and unshackle my traps in the sewer jail. I can kill you, then the pot. Interesting. So, um, I wonder if he's supposed to be like... There was a sorcerer in um, Dark Souls 2 that I think I actually did release in my playthrough. And once you release him, he starts hounding you and uh, trying to kill you specifically um, when you, after you release him. Uh, there's several locations where he can do it. I'll jump down there in a second. Do you have anything new to say now that we have the pox and he wants us to release us? Greetings. Are you here for some... There's some music now. I can hear it from the howl. You should keep your... I know you... Fair enough. I don't believe we have the eight. Now we still need to grave, uh, grave great glove wart. So we can't do anything with you yet. Should be able to with you. Well, I took you for that matter. Lay out your own. Strength and armaments. So this is the thing that I'm probably going to put the somber dragon smith or stronger dragon smithing stone on. Because I don't think we're going to be replacing this weapon. And then after that, do we have the spare here? We do have the spare eights now. We have a spare nine. After that, I might put one on this. And then that basically completes the um, Somber Smith and Stones we need. There's absolutely going to be better weapons that we could put them on, but out of the ones we have, these are the two we're using the most. And we do get a decent amount of incantation scaling from this, so we can get more incantations if we get more faith. Yeah, this is not a bad rapier, we're just not having much use for it at the moment. Oh, I should have been using this against the, um, what we are assuming are the um, uh, tree sentinels. Well, how many of these do we have? We have eight. That's enough to bring two more up to level 20. Let's bring the staff up and the left hand weapon up. Okay. Gonna need a whole bunch more Smith and Stone 7s. We do have some 8s waiting in line. Uh, before we sell anything to level up one more time. Do you have anything new to say? In this ash, it reminds me of... Nope. 
I don't suppose there's anything over here. Nope. Probably nothing here either. Nope, I have a fair idea of where to find them, um, Faye. Fear. Back already. No matter. Let's sell. I mean, is there any reason for me to keep these? Oh, we should check this as well, because let's do that while we have the souls. Runes, while we have the runes. I don't think she's going to have anything new to say, but I want to see whether or not. Well, I want to make a decision on whether or not I want to buy any of the weapons here. How to burn the thorns. See, power from the remembrance. Ah, uh, yeah, that's um, arcane. And that's intelligence faith. Let's actually buy this. Use this FP to unleash many race that chase down foes. Receive Gear of Champions, Veterans Helmet, Vadans, Briar Helmet, Vadan Spears. I'm just, uh, these are the two items that we could, in theory, upgrade and get um, some extra defense out of. Now go for that but the fingers don't have any more words of guidance for me. You've already told me as much. Okay, let's burn these large souls. There's no sense in keeping them. Back already. No matter. Okay, one of these. Let's see if that's enough to level twice. Because we have plenty of the small ones if there's things that we end up wanting to buy. Level up. Can we level up twice? Maybe not quite. We need... Where are they? Five of these. I think. I think that will math correctly. There we go. Yep. Okay, I don't think there's anything more to do here. I mean, we can hop down here and see if there's anything new down here, but I doubt it. We know that that goes through to the room beside. We know we can't open this here. We know there's a lift somewhere. We just don't know where it is or what it does. Because um, we still got that place back in... Um, the capital. Yeah. Okay. Let's end or end where we're going to start next time. We will continue with the plan that we're going to explore this area here. So the next place we'll go to is the um, minor earth tree. But. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, we'll continue our exploration in this hidden path area. We've missed an item. This cannot stand. We'll continue our exploration of this area here, and then once we've got all of that done, we'll see where we go from there. So, thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.